Hi y'all, I wanted to discuss ballistic rated eye protection. And not looking like you always just walked out of the range. I wanted to get some ballistic rated eye protection and I had just kind of resigned myself to having something that looked quote unquote tactical. I started browsing the various web pages that sell these things, searching for ballistic rated eye protection and because I have light colored eyes, I wanted something that was polarized as well. I prefer to shoot at an outdoor range, prefer to shoot a rifle, those are generally only allowed at outdoor ranges, but I also just enjoy being outdoors. And I noticed on one of the web pages that they had Costa Del Mar sunglasses. Well, I've owned Costa Del Mar sunglasses for a long time. I've <laughs> had many pairs and I had a pair sitting within reach of me when I saw them on that and it got me started wondering. I, I didn't see that they were labeled for the ANSI ratings, but I just started doing some searches and it turns out uh, the lenses for Costas are ANSI rated. They're both Z780.3 and Z87.1. Uh, so Z80.3 and Z87.1 are the, the non-military versions of the, uh, the ANSI ratings for the... <clears throat> for ballistic prevention. Obviously, I don't think you could wear these in a military setting, though I'm not sure that they would fit the uniform standards anyway. But it was it was good to know that there was something that I, I wear both around town and when I'm out fishing, uh, and these are magnificent. Absolutely magnificent if you spend any time on the water. Um, the, the polarization, the color filtering that they have on these glasses, it basically allows you to look into the water as if it wasn't there. Uh, th this particular pair here happens to be the uh, the Costa Cut uh, with the uh, the green uh, mirrored lenses. The the lenses are the five eighty p. The p is for plastic, and that's the specific lenses you need to get if you do want the ANSI rating. The glass the glass lenses are not ANSI rated. Uh, the color of the lenses also should vary based off of what you're doing. The Costa makes several different uh, lens colors, and and they're each for different purposes. Noting that when you look through on this side, you do not see a green color. It's more of an, an amber color. But uh, the green and the blue are both designed for... Uh, Areas that have glare and the, the wavelengths of light you would tend to have around water. Uh, if you're going to be doing any sort of offshore fishing, I would definitely recommend that you go with the blue ones. But I tend to be more inland coastal environments when I'm on the water. And, and the green makes sense for that. Uh, I also just happen to be a big fan of, of green lenses with a tortoise shell frame. Uh, it's a, a personal stylistic choice. Uh, so, happy to find out that glasses that I wear both around town and when I'm out on the water can also work for me at the range. And that I already owned. I didn't need to go out and spend any additional money. Now, the question that seems to be out there on the internet that no one has a good answer to is whether or not the frame itself is ballistic rated. I don't know the answer to that. I, I can tell you that... The frame is on the side of your head. Uh, it's not what's going to shatter into your eye. So I'm not worried about wearing these at the range. As long as a range is okay with me wearing these, I'm happy to wear them. Uh, all that being said, uh, if a bullet were to make impact, or or even a, you know, a malfunctioning weapon that um, maybe had a, a barrel or a chamber burst uh, were to make impact with the side of these glasses, I'm guessing that they would probably be toast after that. Though, even a ballistic rated, ballistic rated lens would be toast if impacted. It would just stop fragments from shattering into your eye. So, I, I highly recommend uh, Costa, the plastic lenses. Uh, go check them out. I uh, hope this was informative, y'all. Uh, go ahead and ask the usual YouTube ask. Please hit like, please hit subscribe. Hope to be bringing you more videos soon. 
Uh, maybe we'll be discussing some everyday carry stuff in the near future. I look forward to sharing that with you. Thank you.